Hanley's corner. And look at Steve Hislop almost losing control. And I wonder how he would describe that. Nick Jeffries on the Britain. He had an opening lap at 118 miles an hour, but sadly too, his race was soon to finish. Let's look again at Steve Hislop. Look, the bike is almost sideways, his foot's off the rest, and he just keeps the power on and brings it under control. Philip McCallan is now past Jason Griffiths. Both in the top six, McCallan is second. Joey Dunlop in third place at the veranda. Philip McCallum now 58 seconds down on the race leader and only five seconds ahead of Joey Dunlop. Jason Griffiths on the Kawasaki number nine, still holding on to a very fine fourth place. That's Joey through Ren Cullen. Hislop, Agos Leap. And a little shake of the rear there also. But steady as a rock is Philip McCallum around the bungalow bridge. man and machine in perfect harmony. So Philip McCallan still holding on to that second place and battling hard. He won the senior TT last year, but it looks like Steve Hislop is determined not to let Philip McCallan have the double today. Nigel Davies, as he said in that interview earlier in the programme, is happy because he's up to fourth place. And remember, it was only last September he won the Senior Manx Grand Prix. Oh, my word! Stevie, he gets a shake on there. Philip McCallan down to Kirk Michael now. Trying all he knows, but Steve is the master on the day. And Joey, machine number three, holding on to third place. Jason Griffiths into Kirk Michael, using every inch of the road but very, very safe. The mountain, the bungalow, and his love. Three words that sum up the TT races. Philip McCallan into the bungalow. The back end snakes just a little. Across the tram lines, the right-hander and uphill would rise. 75 seconds down on this man, Steve Hislop, who wins his 11th race. What a tremendous end to the 1994 TT races. Well, I couldn't believe it when I got... I was real nervous before the race this time compared to the F1, but when I got my first signal, plus six, I went, oh, no, again. It's, and it just then it was plus 11, and it just flowed from then on. Uh, had a little bit of a wobble in the second lap at Hindley's, but apart from that, I just backed off. I mean, you know, I just cruised in the last couple of laps. It's brilliant. You're pleased you came back then. The money's one thing, but winning two TTs must be quite another. Oh, yeah, well, that's me third equal. Well, third now, third yeah. in all time wins. So, uh, yeah, brilliant. Couldn't, couldn't have been any better. Now you got 11 victories. Joey's got 17. Everybody's been asking if you're going to come back or if you're going to now wander off to other pastures. You're going to come back to the TT? Well, as I've said to somebody else there, I mean, Joey's 10 years my senior and he's still winning, so there's a hope for me yet. You prefer, would you come back for the senior in the Formula One as well as the junior? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, this is still a sort of bike in, in serious development stages. I think next year, if we've got it sorted, we'll be back. And everybody's talk, been talking about lap records. They could be blitzed easily, I think, if we get this thing spot on. On a final note, uh, everybody's been talking about uh, the TT and the dangers and everything. Now, if you've won two TTs, you've won 11 of, 11 of them. At the end of the 1994 event, do you think it was totally over the top what was said about the TT or do you think it is still relatively pla a place to, to ride within your own capabilities? I think, well, as I've just proved, you can ride within your own ability at an easy pace and still win races. So Steve Hislop then receives the most famous trophy in motorcycling that was awarded first in 1907 and receiving it from the legendary Max Doyle. Steve Islop gets the victory from Philip McCallan, Joey Dunlop with Welshman Nigel Davis coming home ahead of fellow Welshman Jason Griffiths and the Manxman Gary Radcliffe rounding out the top six.
Amidst the celebrations, second home Philip McKellen and third Joey Dunlop can only stand and applaud the supremacy of Steve Islop. Stevie Wonder, in a class of his own, he came, he saw and he most certainly conquered.